Hi, this is Rahim Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how we can add calculated fields by adding a custom column in Microsoft Power Query. So let's first load the data and then add the custom columns and calculated field in it. So I will click on Get Data, Excel Workbook, and uh, this lesson is PQ15, adding custom calculated columns. So it will open up an Excel file. It will take some few seconds to read. All right, so we will select the data. So there is a table called actual and we will click on transform data. So now we are into the Power Query Editor. So there are five columns in the data set, month, category, product, actual sales and budgeted sales. And we are required to add one column, which is based on calculation, actual minus budget, uh, which is the variance column. And then we will also add another column, variance as in percentage. So how we can perform this in Power Query? So we will click on add column tab. And here we will click on custom column. So first we will define a name as variance and here after equal to sign we will say actual sales. So we have just double click on this particular field. It will be written automatically. So actual sales minus budgeted sales. So our equation is absolutely correct and you can see that there is a message. No syntax errors has been detected. So we will press OK and now there is a variance column right and we say that convert as in whole number right all right next we want variance as in percentage okay so how we can perform that so we will click on custom column and we say variance as variance as in percentage so we will place round bracket so actual sales minus budgeted sales divided by budgeted sales and press OK. So we will convert this column as in percentage. So I will click on percentage and now it's converted into a percentage. So this is how uh, we can add custom column based on some calculations we can define in Power Query as well. Thank you.